Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and we are back with a little more Alien Isolation Mobile. Um, Alright, well, we've spent enough time hiding out in the showers, uh, so let's continue on with the movie. Uh, the movie. Let's continue on with the movie. Uh, we are going to, I guess, Seekson's communications. We're going to meet up with... Uh, well, basically the only one we really care about now, which is Ricardo, or our good buddy Rick. And we have a lot of Sikhs and security sort of patrolling the area. Uh, so, of course, I haven't really gotten into a lot of plot holes, but why? Oh, all right, first... Let me say, I can understand the game wanting to give us another enemy type to sort of round out here, but where were these guys in all of everything that was going on on this space station? Uh, where were they when, you know, people were rioting and locking down certain areas of the station? Where were the, the guys when we uh, first came on board? Where were they during the whole alien escapade? Uh, where were they during the whole, uh, you know, Working Joe uh, revolution or, you know, <laughs> that thing. And then suddenly out of nowhere, because we are, we are closing and getting close to the end of the game. They just happen to show up to be another obstacle. Come on. Anyway... Uh, enough griping about it. Alright, and apparently we hit a little bit of a glitch and the game crashed, but we're back in it. Without being too worse for wear. We'll just sort of collect our stuff. Someone in this room here? You okay? Listen, Marlow's permissions are still locked at this terminal. If we had the coordinates for the torrents, we could align the transmitter dishes manually, bypass Apollo completely. There's an observatory near the consulate, right? Yeah. We should be able to find the torrents coordinates using that. I'll get the door for you. You mean this door? Yes, you do. Uh... Okay, so is that to mean that they're still door locked? Keep yourself locked in there. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want you sort of separated between a pane of glass, so that. Uh, oh, locked too. All right. Well, hopefully nothing will befall you, Mr. Rick. Mr. Ricky Rick. Uh, so now I'm sort of antsy on what to expect. Will it be dudes with guns? Will it be robots? Will it be aliens? Who knows? Maybe it'll be everything all mixed together. One can hope. Uh, I'm not really sure what I should be packing here, so let's go with the shotgun. Well, at least we get a save point. All right. Now, I guess the question is, well, two questions. A, where we, where do we need to go? And B, is there going to be people in our way when we try and get there? Oh, darn. Okay, come on, Tracker, where are you taking me here? 
You take me this way. Fair enough. Tell me you're locked. Yep. Hey, dumbasses, I am progressing where you cannot. So, therefore, the ship will be mine and Rick's alone. Want to climb? There's computers and buttons and ooh, hi. I was about to say, where's the search prompt for ya? Dark. You really give me the business. Alright, fine. We won't search you. I'm sure we have more than enough stuff anyway. tracking system. This thing, right? Uh, match input, price A to confirm. Well, I guess I did it. Now what? Oh. You have to do something else. Get in there. Yes, we just wait for you to do your thing. Side. Um, it's kind of space outside. <sighs> Lime. Well, no, you're not giving us the goods. Okay, fine. Um, open. Thank you. I can unlock the entrance to the airlock from here. Give me a sec. Thanks. Rick's such a swell fellow. He's been helping us this whole time. Wouldn't want anything to happen to good old Rick. Like, you know, all our other friends. <laughs> Alright, no crying over spilt Sam or Taylor or anyone. We get it, we get it. Uh, collect the ID tag, because we saw that go in. Probably open up once I get a spacesuit on. Okay. We're gonna save. We are gonna save before we go to space.
suit up, Ripley. Oh, I must be a vampire. There's no reflection in that helmet. Uh, I don't need to change yet. All right, where are you going to take me? Do I need to go in here? I have a feeling I need to go this way. External array. Airlock me, please. Oh, there I go. I'm hurrying as much as I can. Not like I could sprint a marathon in this thing, you know. Yep, no run option. Sorry, Ricardo. Game mechanics. You understand, though. But hey, nobody's shooting at me out here, so that's good. Okay, Belaine. We're going to need you in the worst possible way in a moment. Dish maintenance. I wish to dish out some maintenance. Uh, no. No glowy bits. No glowy. Oh, I see. I need to go into the elevator. That's in space. Is this a space elevator? I'm sure I'm not arousing a lot of suspicion from all those... Uh, sorry, of all those security guys that are watching me um, go walking out in, in, in this. But hey, they're just a bunch of dumbasses anyway, so... They'll get what they deserve, I'm sure. Dish maintenance. Do we wait for you to do your thing? Definitely a lot of glowies going on. Man, Ripley's a heavy breather. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Do we power up lamp release? Uh, hold. Kadonk. So we gotta do this for all three. Take that. Chong, chong, chong. So we get this gripping soundtrack. Okay, the dish is maintained. Now what? Look at that beautiful, beautiful dish.
Okay, well, I guess I leave. Right? That's a good thing I'm able to do all that space walking. Okay, well. What do I do now? Oh. Bang. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, three, five. I almost can't read that. Seventy, we're going too far. Sixty, fifty. Get all the way to 35, right? Oh, and then 75. Okay, yep. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Oh, do I have a story to tell you? There's an alien organism here. It's deadly. We need urgent extraction. A what? There's no time you to heard me. There's nowhere for us to dock, Ripley. The station's tearing free from its gravity mooring. I've seen a towing platform below the space flight terminal, but the Torrens umbilical isn't built for it. You'll need to extend the tow platform clamp station side. Just get into position. Ah, uh, find a way for the torrents to dock. Yeah, simples. So, does that mean I go back now? I have a feeling I go back now. I've done what I needed to do. Right, I don't have to go there. Turn to Ricardo. Okay. Just want to make sure, because I took me 10 minutes to get out here. I don't want to take 10 minutes to get back and find out I did the wrong thing again. Oh! 
All right, Ricardo, sit tight. I have a hundred meters of space bridge to get through. But I'll get there eventually. Very, very slowly. I'm in the home stretch now. Welcome me home. Loading. Well, it's a good thing that nothing happened during all that time. Ah, all right, well, let's do this one more time. Because we wouldn't want to have to repeat that. Uh, and then up. Up. Blam. There is no Ricardo, only Zul. Uh, yeah, that's probably not good. Uh, so you know what? Let's equip this now. And I guess we're... We're dodging xenomorphs again. There, please. Come on, go, go, go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure shooting it was real good, smart idea. Uh, hello, not Barbara. So, what are you like a sister? Go away. Come on, come on. There we go. not be under that. Um. Cardo, are you there?
Ricardo? Oh, God. Ricardo. Oh, no. Oh. You know what? Out of everything that's happened, I think this was the one that hits the most. Go. Okay, we don't need the dum 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 dum. Okay, we're just gonna go over here. Hi. You went, you went the way we need to go. stuff here, so... Yeah, look at that! It's so pretty! It's a good thing we just saved. We'll just to be a little bit more quieter this time. All right, well, we know that there's a shortcut-ish there down here. We're going to take advantage of each of them. Uh, climb. Someone should put that out. Wait. Didn't realize there were still people down here. Oh. Did you go away? No, you didn't. I said go away. Thank you. All right. Take this one. 
Ah, uh, come on. I thought we opened this door in a previous episode. Regardless, we should be getting pretty close to the elevator, and I think that's where it wants us to end up. Come on. Maybe. Damn it. All right, well, you distract him. Straight, straight. And of course, wrong way. Elevator, elevator, elevator. Get me out of here. Well, if you thought it was hell before, Ripley, I don't know what you call this. Really? More people? Store power. All right. dudes there are. Looks like it's the one. And it needs me to restore power here. So let's see if we can take this guy out quietly. guy. Or is that the alien now? Oh, I don't know. So... Restore power? All right, that's sealed off. Do you know where the power is? No? Okay. 
That door never worked to begin with. You. Yep, yeah, you're a door. You're a door I can use. Cutting, 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 cutting. Gonna finally leave Sebastopol. Maybe. Uh, no, no goodies for me to have. Fair enough. Uh, 1851. Uh, let's remember that. Sinclair has something to say. Alright, 1851. Is that you? That is you. Sure, we'll save again. Uh, I don't. S oh, there it is. Enter power. Does that mean these things are going to go off when I have all my weapons on me? I bet you it is. Hi! You can go away now. Along. Move along. You're still there. There we go, finally. Don't 
Drop again, don't drop again. We need to use this. Whoa! <laughs> All right, apparently was not on my toes. So let's try again. Move along. Whatever stuff, play this. Here when they were sealing the sanctuary. I don't know what I expected. Maybe they changed their mind and let me in. Maybe they shoot me dead. They shut the door in my face. I can hear movements from the floor below me. I haven't got long. Simply and his people have Sebastopol's food supplies and much of its weaponry. But I heard the voices of children too. I'd wondered where the children had gone. Perhaps they can keep these monsters from them. I hope they do. Again, you can go away. Dare I? Alright. Yep. Had enough of your crap. Last ditch effort, and you have to be right in front of the train. But I win, you lose. Right to another one. 
That is not cool. Director Ripley, Ripley, we're about to move into position for the auto umbilical dock sequence. We'll be dark on comms until we've matched the decaying orbit of the station and are in position. We're just waiting on you to extend the towing platform clamps. I don't know how you sweet talked me into this. <laughs> I don't know either. Funny news is, is that you'll have less cargo to take back. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> uh, you don't have to tell me twice. Yeah, well, accidents causes running. Think about that. Void. Where do I need to go here? All right, I'm. I am totally messing this all up. So let's let's exit for now. there was a save here this entire time, so... Just so that we don't have to do that train sequence again. Alright. Don't run. Was I supposed to come in here the entire time? And then just didn't. Uh, let's get my flames thrower out just in case. Bond. Uh, no, because this leads nowhere. It's just a avenue for more goodies.
Just gonna make sure that he doesn't uh, incite any unwanted attention. I'm doing it. All right. So you have us come in here. That's why I need it. I need a passcode. Oh. All right. After evacuation, do not re-enter the station until advised to do so by the orbital emergency convener. 1984. Now where? Back over here. Emergency. Please attend your assigned evacuation point and wait for your synthetic emergency warden. Uh, my synthetic broke. Another... Another body. through here. Can I get through here? Oh, of course not. All right, there's got to be something. Uh, these... Making an awful lot of noise. Don't grab me. Open, please. Oh, this way. Hmm. 
Come on, I have a feeling we're right there. <laughs> no kidding. Nope. Oh, door's locked. Still going this way. I uh, can't go that way, can't go that way. Really? You're gonna have me... Alright. Grabbing stuff till the bitter end. That's kind of not working. Nope, I continue this way. Whoa, okay. This way. Sounds like I'm being chased. Door locked. Why am I reloading? Fair enough. Okay. All right, another save. this again. I've died a number of times already to mainly just dumb luck. That being one of them. Uh, there is a tape recorder, but I am not going to hear the message because the abandoned is message is just going to cut it off anyway. Um, get some. You know what? I've had enough of this section. So at least save it so I don't have to do it again. That was sort of cool. Uh... <laughs> That's why they had the generator in the other room. Oh my...
No. It's very dark. fuel here so let's just get the generator going again which I'm guessing is you come on Passing it by is like, oh, I should save, I should save, I'm gonna save. Okay, one more time with feeling. That'd be me. <laughs> Find a way for the torrents to dock. This looks familiar. Ooh. Let me guess. All the way at episode one where I said I needed something to do here. 
And we have finally come full circle. As we cut a full circle. Uh, let's do that. Things have looked better in this area. Got that. Nope. Scrap. All right. We need to leave. Another elevator. Haven't seen one of these before. I'm all over the reading. Oh, and yet another save. Okay. Might as well get a map while I'm here. Berlin, can you hear me? Are you close enough for radio contact? I'm here. Ripley, thank God, I hear you. I need you to extend the door for your plans quickly. There are two. Should be close by. There are two, not one or three. Oh, you're pointing. Oh, restore power. Oh, we have some cables. Some scrap that we don't need. Uh, so let me guess that the cables. Yeah, I'll just follow them along. To this dead body. Don't need anything, apparently. <sighs> just in case. that be enough? Oh, what's moving? Uh, more... More of this. At least we got it. Over to the other side. What? Don't you be making uh, loud noises now. Oh, we don't need to hide. We don't need to hide. Let's check this cooler. Great. More stuff we don't need. Uh, please. I'll use, I'll use. Oh, 
Okay, that's two. Oh, just. You're gonna grab me. Back the way I came. I have a feeling those spacesuits are coming handy right about now. Right? No, you're telling me to go this way. What? What still do I need to do? This way. I'm gonna guess up. I don't know why I keep searching stuff. <laughs> Seriously. But I don't have what I need now. Ah, uh, you know what? I will save though. Shaky, shaky, but I guess you know what they say. If the uh, space station is rocking, uh, get the hell off of it. Relate. There is no personnel umbilical. It's all gone. Wait. I think I can use the maintenance rig instead. If I can find an EVA suit, I can still get to you. Be careful, Ripley. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. Like, come to Sebastopol. That's it. That's it. Uh... And you're just letting me come back the entire way again, right? Yes, I'm walking around the room checking it. What of it? Of course. so-and-sos. I have just about had enough. Of these mother-freaking aliens on this mother-freaking space station. Yeah, that's right, I went there too. Keep walking. Yeah, I know. Oh, another one? Oh, 
Oh, yep, yeah, there you are. And there you go. Just a little longer. No emergency shut off. <laughs> well, at least the aliens are nice enough to wait for me to change. Or rather, they're not. Whoa. Up, Ripley. I should be dead now. Uh, okay. Where, where do I go? They're really trying to... Ah, come on! No more Mrs. Nice Guy. Both of them down for the count. Do I even go this way? Probably not. and die. Yeah, how am I supposed to navigate through all this crap? Really, this is where Amanda's story ends. The festival is destroyed. Oh. guys having a disagreement or something? Remember those parts with the train stations? And the trains? That's what that reminds me of. Oh look, eggs. Great. Stop being squishy.
And again, <laughs> game over title screen. It should be it right there. Amanda never made it out. We don't get an old age photo to remind our mother of. Uh, I'm going to leave the compartments. Relaine is waiting for me. I'll take the shotgun ammo at least. I don't take that because we are pretty much out. Uh, all right. Well, fast train to. Just let me make it through here. Yeah. Nope. You've died like six times over. Nope. Can't go that way. What the? Oh, I'm on fire! Uh, then how about we... Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? That's fire. I thought that was arms. Uh, okay, this. Just let me make it through here. All right. Apparently, I was too slow, so let's not be slow. Uh, so we go through here. Oh, I guess... Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I see. I wasn't slow. I just needed to be in there. Okay, yes, we get it. Too close. Where am I going? Just for the record, no, the trains are not going that fast through the, out the entire game. Ugh, where do I go? Not that way, that's for sure. Uh, up. Up. Uh, up. Okay. Through here. That's... That's a no-go. Where's a frickin' airlock? Where does one get to the frickin' airlock from? Oh my goodness. Alright, climb. Oh, come on! Where? Where are you? We know you're going to pop. Ah, I just looped myself. Are we sure we can't go this way? Yeah, it's not opening. Ah, all right. 
try this again. This way. This way. <laughs> oh, should I dare save? No, it's not letting me. Okay. Um, change. I didn't go to the right suit, apparently. <laughs> Stop looking longingly into the spacesuit and go! Let's ooh, let's get out of here. Yes, little lights, thank you for showing me the way. I just need to go faster. green light here, so I'm guessing it's what we want. Ah, uh, all the fond memories that we've had at Sepastable. Like nearly dying the first time. Meeting our friend Axel. Meeting that friendly doctor who, uh, you know what, he never really did meet us back at the elevator to go down. I wonder what that was all about. Uh, nearly being blown up by weights. Uh, nearly dying because weights dejected me into space with that lab. And then uh, getting the satisfaction of killing weights myself. Uh, fun times. Let me just get to the button prompts, which I'm sure it will let me do somewhere. Oh, do I have to go down for this? I have to go down for this. Ugh.
One down. Okay, I did it. Emergency docking clamp much, looks much like the uh, self-destruct system for the Nostromo. I'm sure they reused assets and whatnot, but uh, considering that I've already played through the DLC a little bit, <laughs> just couldn't help but make the comparison. So we'll have to get through this again. Slowly but surely. For something that needs to be uncoupled pretty quickly, this is taking a long ass time to do. You would think they would want something that's a little bit more, I don't know, push and play. Bye, Sebastopol. Oh, hi, guys. I'm a robot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, am I flying through space again? scene. And now the gas giant has a new crater. Still not done? Oh. Well, sorry, this episode is going to be like two hours when I'm done, but. Oh. So I'll make my way to the bridge. Yeah, can I take off a suit? All right, maybe. No? All right, we're, we're going to the bridge like this then. Uh, nope, that's the airlock. Berlin? Okay, that got me. Uh, left. <laughs> My other left. Right.
And that was Alien Isolation. Now I can understand why it was touted one of the best in the Aliens franchise. That was a splendor to behold and play through, finally. After, what, eight long years? <laughs> Not that I couldn't have played it earlier, but I'm glad that I eventually picked it up for mobile and uh, got everything sort of that came in the package. So I'm sort of coming in with all the DLC, and I have gone through all the DLC as of this recording, so definitely lots to behold and have and partake in. So yeah, I'll be definitely playing this on the harder difficulties just to say that I can do it and like I said it's just a pleasure to sort of go through for added iterations. The AI for the enemies is top-notch which what makes it a little bit more uh, I guess random not only with all the items that can be stored either at or not at various locations but just wherever enemies pop up and how they act in relation with you. And, and as you navigate through the level, ton of uh, shortcuts and secrets that I probably did not even attempt in this particular playthrough. But considering that uh, this playthrough took as about as long as it did, you know, I'd rather not <laughs> bog it down with more more stuff that was uh, not needed. Like, I mean, if this interests you at all and you have not yet played Alien Isolation, I couldn't recommend it enough. Uh, especially if you're a fan of those old movies. I was a little bit uh, peculiar about Amanda Ripley being the main character in this story. Like, I mean, I guess it's entitled for the, the lead character to make it out or for the player to make have the title character make it out alive. But it always sort of sits uneasy with me where you knew what Amanda Ripley's story is, or at least in relation to the movies. So it's not like they were going to redcon that beginning part of Aliens. So, but like, I mean, you certainly do bond with the character and, you know, just having people refer to you as Ripley um, sort of brings a... Uh, a sort of nostalgic tip to it as well. And there are some criticisms that I have for this, mostly with just the bugs in the game. Obviously, mobile phones aren't the most beefy devices in the world, especially not with a uh, bleeding edge PCs, but like, I mean, it handled the game fairly well. And it sort of goes along with the point that I have that like, I mean, these phones nowadays are pretty powerful computers in their own right. There isn't a reason why we can't be playing more games like this on here and not have the bloat of shovelware that we are we are given, whether it be mindless stuff on, on mobile to just take your money and, and do whatever with. At least I had no issue paying what I paid for Alien Isolation, and I paid again for another game of this caliber. So developers out there, if uh, if you're thinking about uh, porting over a game, I am sort of on the camp of do it, because there will be people interested in your works, regardless of who, whom they may be. So we'll let the title sequence go. Uh, again, sorry that this ran a little long. It's just, I knew the end was coming up and I didn't want to pass it by. So this final episode may go through some editing just in order to get the total time down. But there it is, Alien Isolation on mobile from beginning to end. And then I'll have to find out what I'll be playing next. Not really sure what that will be, but uh, whatever it is, as long as it's uh, something worth talking about, then I'll be sure to have it go on the channel. And there we have it. No more cutscenes after the credits, and that's what I was sort of waiting on. So we'll leave it there. 
Um, I do have uh, something planned for the Alien Isolation DLC, but maybe we'll give it a week or so. I'm not sure what uh, my schedule is going to be like, but uh, plenty of games that I'll... Well, as of this recording, they'll be coming out, but uh, they'll have been out by the time this gets to YouTube. So let me just say, if you enjoyed this episode, this series, this full playthrough of Alien Isolation, please, please, please show that appreciation by hitting that like button, leaving me a comment, and subscribing to my channel for more Alien Isolation and other mobile gaming goodness um it's free to join and seriously i like bringing games like this uh to people's attention whether new or old so this has been shin virtuality game on have fun and i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching everyone bye